Adam Werner, narrator. The problem, it seemed to Doug, was that he wasn't even sure how it worked. Did he just think about being a bat? Amanda Fellows, narrator. Marla told me about her evening with Josh, and then she said, So, I want to know two things. Do you think I should go out with him again? Frank Baum, narrator. The Russian read the page slowly, then said, Definitely Lenin. I am familiar with his writing style, too. Sherry Lynn Vanden Heuvel, narrator. It was a Creole plantation named San Souci, not one of those massive Grecian temples, cold and indifferent. Kif Vanden Heuvel, narrator. Novak bought a pack of cigarettes from the cutie behind the counter and lit one. She laid her arms on the counter and put her weight on them. Deb Dotzer, narrator. As a kid, my favorite escape from the pressure cooker, otherwise known as grammar school, was watching game shows. Michael Muller, narrator. Shortly before John's father died, he invested all the family's little money in a fledgling cod and salmon fishery on the northeast shore of Newfoundland. Marcy Mancotti, narrator. A child is a burden after a mile. After two miles in the cold sea air, even a small, drowsy three-and-a-half-year-old becomes a strain. Tom Taylorson, narrator. The pistol. Americans have a special relationship with handguns. Our heroes have always carried them, from the Old West lawman to the gritty urban cop. Mary Beth Lyson, narrator. She wondered if they were ever going to get to where they were going and what the odds were of getting there in one piece. Maybe she should have run some probabilities.